Some of you won't believe, but I clean toilets and I'm a floor in the United States to build a mansion in Jamaica. I clean PP, I clean Dodo, and that is the job that I do to be building a mansion in Jamaica. It was just the other day I was cleaning a urinal and the guy standing up beside me using the urinal on the other side. It seemed as if he was intoxicated. He started peeing on my shoe. Now I could feel the pee literally soaking in my shoe when I took off my shoe off my feet. My socks was dripping. Urine was dripping off my socks. Now when the guy saw it, he said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Here is a hundred dollar. Go buy back a brand new pair of shoe. That's what I'm doing to build a mansion in Jamaica. And there's a lot of individuals right now doing the same type of jobs and building their house in their country. And you got some ungrateful and criminal relatives back home taking those individuals' money and spend it on themselves. Family send the money to build their house and they take the money and buy half a material for themselves. Squandering the money and talk about saying, oh, the money only could have buy some material and they use the rest of money for themselves. The job that some of us are doing in these so-called first world countries, a lot of our relatives back home will never do it. If we should tell some of our family the type of job that we are doing in these countries, they would be ashamed of us, but they wouldn't be ashamed of taking the money. Sometimes you send a hundred dollars go give them and they blow it in half a second and then want you to send another hundred dollars come give them. Sometimes you will send 20 US dollars go give them and they say to you, oh, what 20 dollars can do? A lot of jobs in the United States not paying 20 dollars an hour. You know how hard it is to work a hundred US dollars in America, England or Canada or any one of these countries that you go and when we send you twenty dollars or hundred US dollars, you complaining that you need more and the job that I'm doing to send you that money, you will never do it. And grateful. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Manix Robinson TV and I am back at it again. First day of spring guys. Thanks for tuning in one more time. If this is your first time tuning in or checking in to the channel, remember to subscribe, like, share, hit that post notification bell that whenever I drop a video, you won't miss it. Much respect to you guys every time. But right now, guys, I am in my garage. I'm getting ready to pack a barrel right here. Yeah, we're going to send it down to Jamaica. We have some stuff for the Airbnb property also. All of these items. We're getting ready to ship them off, you know, getting ready to bring the Airbnb up in the hills, getting ready to bring it out and open it up so we can get in some visitors, visit us up in the hills down here in Jamaica. If you want to check out those videos, you can jump over by up in the hills. I'm going to drop the link of that channel in the description. You can follow me on my journey, me and my family, as we build our house, you know, up in the hills and also cutting our road. So that we can drive our truck up in the mountains, take up max up there. Because many of you know that my son cannot walk. So we have to put in accommodation for him also. So that's how we do it guys. But guys, anyway, this video is not about packing a barrel and all of this stuff. This video is all about how I clean toilets and mop floors, clean bathroom in America to build a mansion in Jamaica. That is what this video is all about and I'm going to show you in this video the house that I am presently building and building in Jamaica, currently working on and also cutting a road to go up in that mountain where we live down there and it's all made possible by the toilets and the bathrooms and the floors and the TDD and the PP and the urine and all of that stuff that I clean in America. No joke about it. Stay tuned because this video gonna be epic. So yes, guys, as I was saying, this video is all about I clean toilets, mop floors, you know, clean bathrooms to build a mansion in Jamaica. And I'm going to show you in this video right now the, the, where we are with the project, where we are uh, on, in the journey of, of getting the house done or we are presently cutting a road. I got some workers right now in Jamaica. 
you know, they, they are using a jackhammer to cut the road. I got some guys to buy the material at the hardware. They brought it up. They found a truck that could, you know, that could go up in the mountain because where I live in Jamaica, it's not every vehicle, it's not every delivery truck can go where I live. Matter of fact, no delivery truck can reach the house where the house is. We have dropped the material part way and then we get somebody else to either put it in crocker's bag or buckets and bring it up to the location. So right now, you know, we are investing some money. Me and my wife and my brothers, we are investing money in the road project where we buy material. We bought down some, some jackhammers or some demolition hammers, ship them down to Jamaica, chainsaw, all of that stuff to cut down trees, you know, to dig down the rocks, to, you know, to set the, to set the foundation ready where we can pour the material so that we can drive the truck, go up, visitors can come, deliver truck and drop off material closer to the house. So all of those stuff, guys, we're putting in, putting them in place and it's all made possible by the job that I do in America. And to some people, some people may find it intriguing, find it interesting. And some people also may find what I'm saying upsetting to them. You know, some people may say, why are you talking about cleaning toilet, cleaning doodle, cleaning pee pee and all of those stuff? We don't want to hear that stuff. Guys, there's a lot of people that leave their country and migrate to foreign countries. A lot of us have this misguided notion that the first day we reach in these foreign countries, we're gonna get the big house, we're gonna get the picket fence, we're gonna get the green grass, we're gonna drive Tesla car, we're gonna drive an Escalade truck. Guys, it doesn't work like that for everybody. Some people, it may work out like that for them, but the majority of us, it doesn't work out like that. And some people get lost within the system or get mind blowing or get, get distorted or get dismayed because they have this, this fairy tale idea that when they leave their country and go to America, England, Canada, Germany or Russia or Japan and all of these places, they automatically gonna jump in these well-paid jobs where they are in their jacket and ties sitting in their cubicles making calls and in front of their computer guys it doesn't work like that for everybody right now if you do the maths or do the statistics a lot of us that leave our so-called third world country to go to these first world countries a lot of us have to start off from the bottom of the ladder you know there's a lot of people right now working in these so-called first world countries that are doing so-called menial jobs and sending back remittance to build house in their country, including me. But some people, they will not talk what they're doing for a living in these so-called first world country because they don't want their family to know because some of them, their family will not be proud of them because of what they're doing. They will want the money, yes. They will want them to send the money, to send the remittance to send the barrel of food and clothes and to send the iPhone and the tablet and the MacBook and the high watch and all of that stuff. But they don't want to hear the type of job that they're doing. A lot of us have families in our country that they will call you and they say, give me, give me, give me, I need this. And the job that you're doing, a lot of them will never do it. They will turn up their nose at it because to them it's beneath them but they don't have a problem asking you for your money and want you to give them every dollar that you get and sometimes you even send them a hundred us dollar they blow through it like the hundred us dollar is nothing and then they want you to give them more they don't even know the work that you're doing where you are right now it was the other day i was at work and i was cleaning this urinal and this guest came super intoxicated and he was peeping and I'm there and I said, I'm cleaning the urinal and all of a sudden I feel like my shoes start getting wet. So when I look, the guy is peeing on my shoe so much that my socks was soaked with urine. It's like when I turn and look at the guy and say, yo, what are you doing? He said, oh, 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 I'm sorry, man, I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm drunk, man, I'm rare, rare, rare. And he went into his wallet and he gave me a hundred and I said, Simon, buy yourself back a pair of shoe. And I said, man... What are you doing when you pee on my shoe, bro? Socks soak with pee pee. So this is the type of job that I do in America to build a mansion in Jamaica. Getting ready and now the same money that I generated from cleaning pee pee and doodoo. -doo. I hit using right now 
You pack a barrel to send to Jamaica Buying up my stuff For my Airbnb property That I am about to open up in Jamaica A lot of individuals right now doing some jobs Right here in America They leave their country And a lot of them thought that they were going to be in some big jobs And ray, ray, ray and so and 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 guys, it doesn't work out like that every time. There's a lot of people right now probably saying, "You clean toilet? You joke? You cleaning toilet in America?" Guys, let me tell you something, man. Long as you're working a honest job, nothing is wrong with it. And there's a lot of people that turn up their nose and belittle people who do these so-called menial jobs and let them feel bad within themselves. Sometimes I go to work and 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 you see the toilet. Full of doo doo, full of pee pee, and I have to clean it. I do it, I do it with pride, I do it with joy because I know at the end of the day I have a end goal, and my end goal is to accomplish my vision and to accomplish my dreams. And I'm almost there. Bless up to Shernet Griffin that always encouraged me to say, Man, it's yo, you have a goal and a dream, keep on doing what you're doing to achieve the goal. You know, bless up yourself, sister. Thanks for also becoming a channel member to support the channel with the help of, of your donation. I was able to buy a jackama and send it down to Jamaica. And that is what the guys are using to cut the road to go up in the hill so that Max can go up there and enjoy the birds and the breeze and all of that stuff. Bless up yourself. But guys, nothing is wrong with, with doing honest work. It takes time, guys. If it doesn't work out for you the first day, the first week, the first month, the first year, don't be dismayed and don't give up. Because there are a lot of us that think that, oh, when we come to America or England or, or Canada or, or one of these big countries, we're going to just eventually make it in the first day. Guys, it doesn't work out like that for everybody. And if it doesn't work out for you in the first year, that doesn't mean that you have failed to accomplish your goal or, or to accomplish your dream. Sometimes the dream and the vision take time. But sometimes a lot of people, like, if it don't happen instantly, it's like to them, they're miserable. They start living in an alternate reality, an alternate universe. You see, the good book said that little is much when God is in it. And when we are not able to be faithful in the little that we have, how can we be faithful in the much? So I encourage all of my brothers, all of my sisters, the job that you're doing right now, it may not seem like something to gloat about. It may not be something to brag about because right now, social media will make it look like guys like me that clean toilets for a living and clean doodle -doo and clean peepee, -pee, that I am nothing. And social media will let some of us like hide in the closet and hide in our shell to let us feel bad about ourselves because of what we do. I encourage my brothers and sisters, don't be dismayed. You know, right now you're going to get paid Friday. It's that same money you're going to send back to your country to give to your mother, to give to your father, to get medication, to buy food, to send your little siblings go to school and all of that stuff, to send back money, go back to build your house. And guess what? A lot of Jamaicans right now working overseas and... Their family member back home don't even know the type of job that they're doing. And they're sending back money to build their house and to do this and to do that. And those same family members back home robbing up the money. Stealing the money. Using the money to buy half a material for the work. And buy half a material for themselves. And they don't even know the type of work that their family members are doing abroad. You see, it's not all of us overseas. Our managers, our supervisors, our CEO, some of us are cleaning toilets, are working in hotels, some of us are working in gas stations, supermarket, working in the strawberry field, the blueberry field, picking pears, apples, and all of that stuff. It's not all of us having the big paying jobs in suit and tie. You see, and sometimes the same family members, them that back home, they will never do the job that you're doing right now. Believe me, if, if, if a lot of us should tell our family members the type of job that we're doing, some of them, they would be shame of us. But guess what? Them still want you to send the money, come give them. Them want you to buy big iPhone, send, come give them. 
them wanted to send a hundred US can give them every day. And they don't even know how hard it is for you to work a hundred dollar. How much tiles you have to clean a week to get a hundred dollar. They don't know that. But they want you to they want you to send them iPhone Pro iPhone 15 Pro Max. They want you to send them here Jordan. They want you to send them 700 pounds. 500 Canadian, 1,000 US, and they don't even know how hard you have to work for that. They don't even know the type of job that you're doing to get that. Some people don't know right now, guys. I wanted to buy these lights. Let me show you. I wanted to buy these lights for my Airbnb property in Jamaica from when the original price was 60 something dollars. Yes, I could have bought it, yes, but. I wanted more than one and I had to wait until they went on clearance down to ten dollars where I could get the amount that I needed. You see it so I am in America with the job that I'm doing. I have to know how to spend my money. And you got family members back home in your the country, they think that you're just picking up money. They don't they, they don't even know the type of job that you're doing. I have to I have to Wait and bargains sometime to fulfill my vision. I have family member back home. They want you to pick up your pay all of your paycheck and send them to them. And they don't even know know what you're doing for a living. The job that you're doing. Some of them who don't even want to dream about doing it. What what a lot of us doing in these countries. Some of our family members them will never do it. But they don't have a problem taking your money. Please, you can't send me your money. You send me my $20. They, they have the audacity sent to you. A $20 you can send, come give me. There's a lot of jobs in, in America don't pay $20 an hour. And when I send you $20, you're talking about a $20 you send, come give me. You know how many hours a lot of people have to work to get 100 US? And you send 100 US, go give your your ungrateful family members them back home and they blow through it in one second and then the following day they want you to send another hundred us dollar come give them no for them don't know how hard it is to work a hundred us dollars a lot of jobs in america don't pay twenty dollars an hour minimum wage in america haven't reached twenty dollars yet and a lot of people when they ask the for money, I just send them $20, then skin up them face at twenty dollars. What twenty dollar can do? You know how hard it is to work twenty dollars in the United States. And when you and when the ungrateful relatives them they beg your money and not even pay there yet. And, you, and sometimes you have to go to your bank and take out a twenty dollar and send and go give them the ungrateful scoundrel them they talk about say a twenty dollar they send come give me. If you don't want my twenty dollar, you now go get a hundred dollar. I tell anybody that because what I do for a living, a lot of you will never do it. I encourage my friends, my brothers and my sisters, the job that you're doing right now, don't be dismayed. Or don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Sometimes it's all about the journey. You may just came to America. You may just came to Canada, or England. Germany, Russia, Japan, or any one of these countries. And you may be wondering right now or pondering, when are you going to find that dream job? It, it takes time, man. It takes time. It takes time. Just, just relax, humble yourself, and work on your goals and work on your dreams. And you will get there. Truth be told and be, be realistic, it's not everybody going to be in the cubicle, in the office, some gonna be out in the field, some gonna be in the midst cleaning up the dodo, cleaning up the vomit, cleaning up the peepee, -pee, cleaning up the crime scene, taking up the trash, and all of that stuff. And that is reality, guys. So don't let nobody let you feel bad about the job that you're doing, because it's the job, it is that job that is paying the bills and taking care of the family. It's that job that I'm doing now that is making me build a mansion in Jamaica, getting ready to open up a here beyond the property. Nothing is impossible, guys. Little is much when God is in it. Don't joke about it. So I encourage you, my friends, my fellow brethren, the job that you're doing, it may not be a, a high, a high, 
job which you can gloat about and brag about. I understand, you know, when we're out with our friends and we are our friends saying, oh, I do this and I do that. You want to chip in and say, yeah, you know, I'm a supervisor, you know, I, I, I supervise 200 workers. I, I, I'm a owner of this company and I, and I do that, you know, I, I understand. I know the feeling. I, I get it, you know, but don't let that let you not feel important man people ask my wife what type of job your husband does for a living and my wife tell them that he cleans toilet he mops floors they are shocked say what you are married to a guy that clean toilets with with your eye profession job that is what your husband do how 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 do you guys work it out i got a couple of these chairs they were originally hundred dollars i got them for nine dollars i pick up a couple of them also to send them to jamaica that's when you know my visitors come at the property and they want to go to the beach i can just fold them up put them in the truck and take them to the beach and they can sit and they relax and enjoy themselves that's how the vision work guys so not because you're not earning the big money in the big job doesn't mean that you cannot work on your dreams because the avenues open up a lot of times but we are so busy that we are not able to see the ways that are being made available to us. Serious. The other day, if you look at this, some of you right now may be looking at my Reebok hoodie and probably say, wow, that's an expensive hoodie. I went into Walmart the other day and I went shopping and I went into the clearance aisle and I saw this, this nice Reebok hoodie. And I said, wow, I like this hoodie, man. I wonder how much for it. And the crazy thing about it, I they, it was in the clearance section, but there wasn't a clearance tag on it. So I said, you know what? I'm not leaving it. I'm going to take it to the cashier and see how much for it. And I brought them to the cashier. How I many cashiers scanned them? They came up for $10. The cashier said, $10 for this? Is there any more down there? I said, no, it was the last two. So sometimes, guys, Things work out for you. It's just that you have to be open up to the possibility of things working out within the moment. Not because you're not rich and you're not in a well-paying job doesn't mean that things can't work out for you. It can work. It work out for me. You see? So, don't give up and don't get dismayed, guys. Even no matter what the job that you do, it may not be a job to gloat about and and brag about and say yes i'm a manager i'm a supervisor i'm a ceo rejoice in the little job that you're doing man rejoice in your honest job rejoice in the job that that, that pays you a honest salary you do, you're not stealing you're not robbing you're not killing you're not swindling nobody for what you have you work hard for what you have that day when the guy was in the bathroom peeing on my shoes and I said, this guy peeing on my shoe, my shoes was soaked with urine. My socks was soaked with urine. Seriously. But I suck it up and move on because I, I know why I'm doing it. And there's a lot of people right now that leave their country and in, in this so-called first world country, it's those menial, so-called menial jobs. is keeping their economy back home, floating with their remittance, building up their house, starting business, sending their investing in their kids so that their kids can get a better, better education than them. The menial jobs. You see all my air fry up here. You see my lanterns them. You see my, you see my igloos. You see my, you see my little pool. All of them. Is what I purchase out of the money that I earn from cleaning because the cleaning job I use to invest in the future opportunities this right now what I'm investing in is something that I know that when I'm gone my kids can build up on it so I'm not gonna be distracted because I'm cleaning doodle -doo and cleaning pee pee the cleaning dude one pee is the catapult that I'm using to elevate me to something better. 
But some people cannot see it. Some people think that, oh, oh, they're doing this type of job. Oh, it's nothing. And they don't even save. They don't even invest. They don't even ask God to bless them. Look what they have. They are just miserable. Every day, they're miserable. Oh, this is what I'm doing. I can't be doing this every day. Oh, this is not a job. Oh, I can't save. And 10 years, 20 years, and they don't got nothing to show because they are so miserable in what they're doing. And they're not doing nothing to even come out of that type of frame frame of mind that they are in. Me, I am not one person like that. What I'm doing is to elevate me to a greater level and to set a better stage for my kids. Right now, my daughter is saying, Daddy, I want to go and sit on the roof and overlook the beautiful man to go I want, I want to enjoy the beach. And the yes. Sit there right now. Right now, got the food over there, so pack up on my shelf. Those right now, we're gonna break them down, put in a barrel to send them down to Jamaica. Pop them out, yeah? Gonna pack them out. We got canned stuff, we got rice, we got oil, we got detergent, soap, we got everything, you know, flour, everything to pack up in the barrel, so barrel to send down, gonna send them down to Jamaica. All of these stuff that you see got in my, have in my garage, Original price, thousands. There are thousands of dollars. But I got them at a fraction of the price. Because I am able to see the potential in everything with the liquid that I have. I'm not going to say, oh I, cannot, oh, I cannot do this. I cannot afford that. I will sit patiently waiting until Home Depot or ShopRite or Lowe's, Walmart or Sam's mark them down and then I hit the street. Within the liquid that you have, avenues will open up for you. Believe me, I am not joking. When you believe in yourself and you believe in what you're doing, avenues will open up for you. And that is how I am able to be doing what I am doing. I'm building a mansion in Jamaica. I am not rich. I, I am not a supervisor. I'm not a manager. I am not a CEO. I'm not a general manager. I don't own a company. But it's because of the doo-doo and the pee-pee that I clean and the job that I do. I, ha I am able to be building a house in Jamaica. I am able to be starting up a business in Jamaica. I am able to be cutting a road leading up into the mountains. It, it does, you don't have to be in a big job to accomplish great stuff, guys. You don't have to be in well-paid job to accomplish great, great deeds in life. All you got to do is start, guys. Start out with the liquor. Keep on pressing forward. That's how we do it. And all of my brothers and sisters them across the world are doing the same thing to do what to, to, to accomplish your goal back home. Maintain your journey. And don't be confused. Be focused in what you're doing. Don't joke about it. 